hey guys and welcome to this video so today i'll basically model up a cylinder that is subjected to internal pressure in ansys and as you can see that is for hollow from the inside and uh, it's basically capped from the ends so in solidworks i have actually made up this uh, model and if i show you uh, the internal view of this so as you can see uh, it's kind of hollow from the inside and it's capped from both the ends so i'm just going to take a section view of this and And as you can see, I've just taken one eighth part of the entire uh, cylinder, and this is because of the fact that we need to see, uh, save a, a lot of uh, computational time that may be required in order to model up the entire cylinder. And therefore, uh, having this uh, benefits us a lot. So, as you can see, uh, this red face, um, the boundary conditions that we are gonna use here are that uh, the displacement of this face, normal. Uh, to its area would wouldn't be there, and that this is because of the fact that we need to maintain the entire shape of the cylinder, and in order to obtain that, we need to have the displacement of this uh, normal to uh, the plane zero. Similarly, for the blue and the green plane, we'll have those conditions. So now I have actually imported this model in Ansys, and now we're gonna model it and see how it actually has to be done. So now I've actually opened up a new Ansys uh, window and I'm gonna go to File and Import IGS. I've actually modeled this in Creo earlier, so I've just I'm just gonna import that model in this. So go to Browse and here uh, just choose the folder in which you have already saved that IGS file. So uh, this is the one eighth part of the model that I actually modeled in Creo. So go to preferences, structural. Uh, now we'll go to preprocessor element type and we'll choose uh, uh, TET 4 node 285. Click OK, close. And in uh, material models, uh, we're gonna select uh, isotropic model which has a Young's modulus of 2, two into 10 raised to power 5 Newton per mm square so I am actually modeling this uh, in the CGS system so click on OK and now what I am going to do is uh, choose a bilinear model so I'm just going to explain bilinear model in just a minute. Go to inelastic, rate independent, and uh, isotropic hardening plastic minus plasticity bilinear model. So here uh, put the yield stress uh, of the material that you are using. So in my case it's about 250 megapascal, and uh, tangent modulus is zero. So tangent modulus actually means that uh, the graph that between the stress and strain for this material uh, the elastic part of the graph is linear and uh, the plastic part of the graph is kind of parallel to the strain axis so it so if you just see the cursor it will kind of go first of all in a linear direction and then it goes parallel to the x-axis so click on ok So now I'm just going to go in modeling and uh, sorry in meshing and here I'm going to go to the mesh tools and click on mesh select this polygon click on ok so it gives me a very unrefined mesh but uh, just for the sake of having a faster time I'm just going to model up this way so now I'm going to go to loads define loads apply structural displacement on areas and in this and I'm going to First of all, select this face and the displacement perpendicular to this face will be 0. So click on OK, UX is 0, click on OK and similarly do for the rest of the two faces. And similarly for the last one, its displacement will be 0 in the z direction as you can see it from here its normal vector is uh, parallel to the z-axis click on ok and now just apply a pressure on the face so 
sorry select this and this one click on ok and here I'm gonna just put a pressure about say 100 megapascal click ok now I'm gonna go to the solution solve current LS click on ok solution is done so now we'll just gonna go and see the solution in general post proc plot results uh, contour plot element solutions stress and we'll just model up the one my stress here so as you can see the maximum stress kind of comes up in this region And now I'm going to just uh, animate the results of this. So, just, uh, just to change this view a bit so that we can just see it in a much better way. yeah so as you can see uh, that this shape kind of deforms in this and this goes a bit backward and if you see the values of this the stress it comes over right about uh, the yield stress and therefore we see there is a lot of plastic zone that is kind of created so obviously then we need to choose a material which has a higher yield stress than this and therefore uh, that's how the modeling of this can be done. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave uh, comments below and subscribe to this channel I'll be bringing up a lot more videos ahead. Thanks